United States to proceed with case to seize $150 million linked to Nigerian governor. Welcome to the news and please subscribe to our channel. To get notified when we post hot juicy news updates, please click on notification bell. United States authorities said it will resume legal proceedings to seize over $150 million allegedly laundered by KB State Governor Atiku Bagudu, Bloomberg reported on Tuesday. Bloomberg reported that Bagudu, a member of a ruling or progressive Congress APC, made a failed attempt for an out-of-court settlement with U.S. authorities. The U.S. alleges that the KB State Governor Bagudu was part of was part of a network controlled by former Nigerian dictator Sani Abata that misappropriated billions of dollars from state coffers in the 1990s. Bagudu's brother Ibrahim, who is entitled to an annuity from the assets, is challenging the forfeiture in a federal court in Washington. U.S. authorities and the Bagudu's family obtained, obtained a stay of judgment in 2020 to enable the parties to negotiate a resolution but with no agreement reached. The case is set to resume according to court documents dated March 2nd. Ibrahim is, however, optimistic that an out-of-court settlement is still possible with U.S. and U.K. government officials. A U.K. court had frozen the family's investment portfolios in 2014 following a request from the U.S. The Nigerian government in 2019 said it is unable to assess the U.S. in the case a claim it is bound by settlement Bagudu reached with the previous Nigerian government in 2003. Bagudu's agreement with the Nigerian government reportedly allowed him to return $163 million to the Nigerian authorities, which in exchange dropped all astounding civil and criminal claims against him according to court findings. In 2018, Nigeria's government under President Muhammad Buhari and Bagudu had a new agreement in 2018 for the ownership of the investment portfolios worth 141 million euros, approximately $154 million. In late 2019, transferred to the Nigerian state, which will then pay 98.5 million euros to Bagudu and his affiliates, according to U.S. court document. Buhari's administration has seized applied to the UK courts on freeze the assets. US DOJ in February 2020 said it requested that the Nigerian government to withdraw litigation. It has commenced in the UK that was hindering its effort to forfeit London funds held in Bagudu's name. US authorities in return opposed plans by the Nigerian government to give $100 million from loot recovered from Abacha to Bagudu. DOJ said Bagudu was involved in corruption with the late Abacha, whose Transparency International T.I. said may have looted as much as $5 billion during his 1993 to 1998 rule in Nigeria. It accused the Nigerian government of hindering the U.S. efforts to recover allegedly laundered money. It was traced to Bagudu. Hmm. Can you imagine? Hey! hey. Aya! Somebody should pinch me. Oh. Now, tell me why the Westerners will want to leave Nigeria. These people, they're the ones that came to colonize us, right? Nigeria, in their senseless nature, they go there and they store funds. And these people will use their funds to better their country. They borrow the funds, they bring it back. And when it is looking like, uh, you know, they have forgotten or the person, you don't shook the person for truth. They will frustrate the person. The person will leave her. Now, now this same West. <laughs> yeah? This uh, particular administration that is anti-corruption. They should have left us with our uncle corruption. No, they should have left us with our mommy corruption now. You say you are anti-corruption and yet every single time corruption cases are traced back to this administration. Who did we offend in this country, please? What is our offense? Are you hearing the type of money? Money that when it comes in, it can, it can better one particular sector perfectly. It can better, let me don't even say two, at least one will be bettered. 
Look at the kind of leaders you have. Just, just look at. And that governor, I tell you, he's going to be walking like a free man till tomorrow. Welcome to Nigeria where patriots are arrested, brutalized and killed. And when criminals are allowed to walk free. In fact, criminals are given positions. Criminals are celebrated. Welcome to Nigeria. We are so rich yet we are so poor. Can you imagine? Hey. What? Somebody should convince me why Nigeria won't turn upside down. When people that are supposed to be in jail for diverting resources offshore, I don't want to aspire it and become president and governor. Now, wow. Hey, I'm on this one. I know even can't know waiting to talk. This one, eh? I almost got my shock absorber almost got shattered. Hey, what's in Muno go see? Hey, what's Muno go here for this Nigeria matter? This is exactly what OBJ said that some gullible Nigerians are castigating him for. Ah. Bagudu is still losing heavily in his state. He has been losing since the days of Abacha. Northerners always lose with impunity. No be, no be, no be only with impunity. Hey, Omo, I am shaken. Is this just for one man only? Ho? Hey, my brother asks me, oh, if you ask me, who I go ask? Only one person. Did you hear the figure? In dollar, if we, they even converted it to you. Hey, hey, wahala. How did he become the governor of a state? APCs will not stop to amaze me. Now, wow. Now, tell me, where is the lie? Where is the lie? Hey, PDP, what is this? this is that. I'm saying PDP, yes, they are no better, but it's like I'm going to be rephrasing my statements because those ones, they will put their hand on their chest and they say, yes, we are corrupt. Leave our, they should have left us with our mommy corruption like that. You say you are anti-corruption, you come and your own is now what you call Obonge, Babala of the Babas of corruption. Ha. Ah. You think the Westerners will want us to go score free? When they know the kind of people our leaders are, go for it. If this were a sane country, this man will be, they will collect everything to the last cobble. In fact, if there's anyone in his family's name that even his business, they will collect everything. Let him say where he got the money from. On this note, we've come to the end of this. We say thank you for tuning in to listen. Until I come your way next time, enjoy the rest of the day.